Hey guys, welcome to a 2014 NCEA Level 2 Algebra Exam Walkthrough. So we'll just get straight into it. Question 1, A, simplify. 5 divided by A to the power of 4, uh, everything to the power of negative 3. So we'll just flip 5 to the power of A4, make that A, A to the power of 4 divided by 5. And we can flip the negative 3 into a positive 3. And then that'll just be A to the power of 12. As for uh, indices, as adding, when you multiply indices, you add them. So it's just A to the power of 12 divided by 5 to the power of 3, which is 125. Yeah, so this is pretty straightforward. This is an achieved question. Correct answer. Moving on to II. As you can see, that's 0 0.25 x to the power of 3 uh, to the power of 0 0.5, well, to the power of 1 half. So it's pretty much saying that everything in the brackets to a power of one half. So that's pretty much zero point two five to the power of one half, and then x to a power of one to a power of three times one half. So if we simplify that, that's basically so that becomes zero point five x to a power of one point five. And again, this is a, only an a cheap question, so it shouldn't be too much fuss. Okay, moving along, eight, 8x eight to the power of 6 to the power of 1 over 3 divided by 3 to the uh, x to the power of negative 2 to the power of 4. Okay, so this is a bit harder, so, so we'll just do the top first. So 8 to the power of 1 third, so that's what to the power of 3 is 8, so 2 to the power of 3 is 8, so 8 becomes 2. And then it's saying what uh, to the power of 3 equals to x to the power of 6. Well, that's x to the power of 2. As Like I said uh, before, when you, when you uh, multiply indices, it's pretty much just adding them. So that's just 6 divided by 3, which is 2. So that simplifies to 2x squared. Now, um, if you look at the bottom here, uh, 3 x to the power of negative 2 to the power of 4. Um, so it's saying that x to the power of negative 2 times four times. So that becomes negative two plus negative two plus negative two, et cetera. So that actually becomes three to the power of x, x to the power of negative eight. And um, we can actually simplify this even more by um, that actually equals to two over three. And then you divide the indices, so you I get x to the power of 10. Alright, so finishing all the way here is a merit merit grade. Um, just by doing any one of the either the numerator or the denominator correctly will give you will get you an achieved. So either here or either this one or the bottom. It's both it's either one will give you an achieved grade and solving the whole thing gets you a merit grade. Alright, moving along. B. One root of the equation x squared plus mx plus twelve equals zero is three times the other. Find the possible values of m. All right, so I have my own way of um, approaching this type of problem. So you know that's x squared, so it has to be x on one side and then x on one side again. All right, so it's telling you that one is a uh, three, three times the other. So we'll just say we'll just name like this, for example. Let's just say call it y, and then this would be x minus three y. So why is this you are? So if we take the roots of this, uh, so this would either be x would either be y or x would be 3y. Because if we substitute x equals y, y minus y is 0 and 0 times anything is 0. Or we can substitute x equals to 3y. Uh, I forgot the equal sign, sorry. Uh, if we substitute x equals 3y, 3y minus 3y y is 0 and then 0 times anything is 0. And 3y is 3 times y, so therefore one root is 3 times the other. So, um, so you know, uh, and usually, so uh, when you multiply these two, uh, y and 3y, you should be getting 12, because let's just take um, a random example. So let's just say x plus 2 here, and then x plus 3. Like, usually, how do you get c here? 
usually you multiply the 2 and the 3, and to get B, you would be 2 plus 3, as you can see. So, so that's just an example. So in this case, so if we multiply negative Y and negative 3Y together, we should be getting positive 12. So basically, so 3, so this means 3Y squared should equal to 12. And if we rearrange this, we should get y is equal to 2. And that means that if we substitute y equals to 2, so that will be x minus 2, bracket, bracket, x minus 6. So like I said, uh, we're trying to find what m is. So m is question mark. So m is otherwise just b, right? So b would just be negative 6 times x, negative 6x, negative 2 times x, negative 2x, negative 6x plus negative 2x is negative 8x, so therefore negative 2 plus negative 6 equals to negative 8. Alright, so um, getting all the way here should get you uh, an excellence grade actually, and values of n found, so we used y in this case, so should be getting to here, should be a merit grade. And then relationship shown, so basically maybe you should get an achieved grade here. Alright, moving on. The equation 3x squared minus nx plus 5 equals 0 has two distinct roots. Find the value of n. All right, so this is again an interesting solution, uh, interesting question. So, uh, saying that it has two distinct roots, that means the discriminant must be greater than zero. So, basically, um, using the quadratic formula, so b squared minus four ac must be more than zero. All right. So, um, b is n. So negative n squared is positive n. So, n squared minus 4 times 3 times 5 should be more than 0. So n squared minus 12, that's 60 minus 60, should be more than 0. So therefore, move 60 to the other side, so we get n squared is more than 60. And therefore, n is, uh, is more than plus or minus square root of 60. Okay, so because it's, um, because our n is more than that, so if we draw a parabola here, like right here, so when we say it's getting more, so it'll be either to this side or it's going to be over here. So it's not, so in the middle here, um, y would be less than zero, but to, when it's past it, x intercept then it will be more than uh, zero so therefore n is even more than positive square root of 60 or less than negative square root of 60 so it's n is more than square root of 60 or n is less than negative square root of 60 all right so this is again this is this is uh excellent question so by getting all the way to the bottom here getting the correct solutions with the correct working you should be getting an excellence grade with both the inequalities not just one if you only had one of these uh if you only had one possible value for n then this will only get you a merit grade here and if you get the discriminant so that's b squared so this so this here isn't achieved by finding the discriminant all right so should be pretty straightforward here. So D, 10x to the power of 4 minus 13x to the power of 2 plus 4 equals to 0. All right, so you know that it's something x squared to something. So x squared multiplied by x squared equals to x to the power of 4, right? So it has to be like something x squared and and like something, something else x squared in order to get that x to the power of 4. So should be five five two two should be five and two here and then there's a plus four here so so what so these two n numbers should multiply to four and then the b should equal to negative thirteen 
So, let me see. So, should be, should be negative 4 here and positive 1 over here. So, negative 4 times positive 1, that's negative, uh, that's, oh no, that's wrong, sorry. No, they're both, they're both negative. Apologies, apologies for that. They're both negative. Okay, so, negative 4 times negative 1, that's positive 4. Negative 1 times 5x squared, that's negative 5x squared. And then negative 4 times 2x squared, that's negative 8x squared. Negative 8x squared plus negative 5x squared, that's negative 13x squared. So, that's, that's the correct expanded form. So, now, it's... It's either one of these brackets must equal to zero in order to get the output of zero. So it's either five x it's either five x squared minus four equals to zero, or it's two x squared minus one equals to zero. Alright, so let's just do five x squared minus four equals zero first. So that would mean five x squared equals to four x squared equals to equals to 4 over 5 so x should be square root of 4 over 5 I'm pretty sure you can just leave your answer like that and we'll go to a 2x squared minus 1 equals 0 so that'd be 2x squared equals to 1 and that means uh, x squared equals to 1 half And therefore, x should equal to square root of one half. All right. Um, should be able to leave your answer just like that, or you can just write it out in a decimal form if you want. But uh, it generally should be accepted like this. So, um, assuming that all both of these solutions are given, you'll get an excellence grade. Assuming that you get you had both of these solutions. Uh, if you solve for x squared, then you get a merit. So, for example, if you said x squared equals to four over five, or you said two x squared equals to two x squared equals to one, that'll give you a merit grade. And achieved is just the expression factorized, so it's right here. So that's an achieved right here. All right. So overall grades. So it's like normal NCA marking. So two excellence grades will give you an E eight. One excellence gives you an E7, uh, two, M two R's give you M6, one R's, M5, etc, etc. Alright, we're moving on to question two now.